Hi, my name's Daniel. I'm on the support team at Soulwise, and today I'm going to be going over one of the most common queries that we get about the Teltonica routers. Uh, in this specific example, I'm going to be going over the Rut X50, but this applies for every other Teltonica router as well, because they all share the same interface. Um, and what it's going to be about is how to get them connected to the mobile network if they are not connected by default because typically when you put a, a sim card in a working sim card into the sim slot or one of the sim slots it should detect what mobile operator that sim card is ee o2 vodafone and so on um, and configure itself accordingly using a setting called auto apn but this feature is does not always work um, and in this kind of scenario the router is not going to work just plug and play you would have to go into the settings and just twiddle a few things about to get it working uh, it's not difficult to do but you do need to know what to do and that's what I'm going to show so you would get your device connected onto the router usually via its Wi-Fi signal which you should still be able to connect to even if there is no internet connection, it would say connected, but without internet or something adjacent to that. Um, and in this case, I've got a computer connected to it via cable. But as I say, you can do it via anything, via Wi-Fi, including a phone or a tablet, if that's all you have. So once connected to the router, if you get into your web browser, in this case, I'm on Firefox, but you can do it via Chrome or anything else. And in the URL address bar across the top, that's this bit here. So specifically, this is not the Google search bar here. It will not work here. It has to be this address bar across the top. If you type in 192.168.1.1, that's the IP address, the default IP address for every Saltonica router. And as you see, we're now in the login page for it, for the web interface. Uh, the default username is always admin, and the default password will be, if it's an older model, it might just be admin01, or lowercase. If it's uh, one from the past couple of years, it will have a unique, randomly generated password. Um, I do know what this one is, so we'll get onto it, but if you don't know it, just look at the uh, barcode label on your router uh, and you'll find it there so as it is on this one it is working you can tell by the IP address here the fact that I'm on the main status page right now uh, so this is status overview and this bit where it says mob1 s1 a1 main the fact that there's an IP address there that indicates it's working uh, it's just the bit here where it says data connection connected, state registered, and you can see it's sending and receiving data here. Um, if it wasn't, then it would say disconnected, and there would be no IP address there, it would be blank. And if it wasn't, then what we'd have to do is click the cogwheel icon on mob one s one a one That takes us through here. And what we need to do... By default, auto APN will be enabled. Um, and if you log on and it isn't working, then you need to come here and disable auto APN, turn it off. There's an APN drop down, which you can set to custom if you know what the APN details are. If you don't know, it might have a list here, as it does for me. I've got an EE SIM card in, and it says EE everywhere here, which would be the correct APN. So that's all you would need to do if it comes up. If it doesn't, then put it onto custom. Uh, and in this case, because it's an EE SIM card, I'll enter in everywhere as the APN code. So the, the APN code, um, every mobile SIM network has a APN, which is, you can sort of think of it as like a password to be let onto the network. Um, so that, that's all it means by APN. And for EE, it's everywhere. Um, the other various operators have their own different ones. Um, 
I don't know them off the top of my head, but you should be able to find them all online or via contacting the support of that SIM network. Uh, sometimes there's an authentication needed. So you put it onto PAP and enter in a username and password. Uh, for this EE SIM cards, that shouldn't be needed, so I'll leave that on none. And just click save and apply. And you'll tell it's working. This is going to go down while it saves and applies those settings. But what should happen if... Yep, so status up in green. If it wasn't working, that's another way you could tell, by the way, that status would say obviously something like down and be in red text. And it's got the IP address there again. And if we go back into the status overview, as you can see, it's all still fine here. So that's all it is. It's, it's that simple. If, if your Teltonica router isn't working off the bat and you've got the SIM card in and you know your SIM card is working, maybe you've tried it in your phone, um, then 99% of the time, this will be why and this is all you need to do to resolve it and get it working again. Uh, thank you for watching.